recording. We can edit. <laughs> Oops. Tree, <damn> ra <laughs> tree wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> This is Marjorie Wildcraft with none other than Dr. Patrick Jones. <laughs> we're, we're having a good time. And so Dr. Jones is both a veterinarian and an herbalist and a naturopath. And he treats man and beast. <laughs> and sometimes it's all one in the same thing. That's right. Depends on the guy. Depends on the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so Patrick with the Grown Network, Patrick's actually quite famous because he's presented a lot of our homegrown food summits and, and does a lot. So a lot of people know. No, Patrick, but um, we've been getting some questions and I have some questions for you. So Ruth, sure. Ruth has been, been collecting questions. And um, one of the top questions that she's been getting in is the people really want to grow their own medicine. Yay! Uh, and um, just some guidelines or, you know, um, could you talk a little bit about growing medicine? Like, is it harder than vegetables and fruit or easier or, you know, just some of the general? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, and, and that's a great way to get medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, first and foremost, having having your own source of immediately available material is really important. And the quality of the material is vastly different oh, yeah. so than, much than stuff you buy from even, even really serious herb companies. Um, uh, there's nothing like stuff that you've harvested yourself and managed yourself and it's just a different product. Um, but no, I think for the most part, you know, there's always a few finicky kids that want something special, but uh, for the most part, um, medicinal plants, a lot of them are actually pernicious weeds. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, you know, <laughs> so, you know, they need to be near dirt or they won't germinate, you know, so the sidewalk crack is okay, but the concrete's not good. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, my dear sainted wife, uh, we've got about a hundred species growing here uh, at the homegrown herbalist gardens and uh, I'm forever bringing stuff in and you know I buy things and I go out in the woods and haul things back and and uh, we were out in the woods and and found something I don't even remember oh it was horsetail mm -hmm. oh <laughs> with great kidney plant uh -huh. good dental plant too but uh, anyway I thought oh, we should take some of that back, <laughs> back to the gardens and she says no 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 it's out here you know where it is I have enough trouble managing all your friends <laughs> That's the other thing, you know, wild, wild crafting plants yeah. is, is actually so easy. Absolutely. And there's so much out there that, you know. Yeah, and right, and, and immediately accessible, you know, quick and close. I mean, there, mm -hmm. we were talking yesterday about the the long driveway plant walk I took with that guy. Who, we, I was out digging up some chicory root uh, in a friend's pasture, and his neighbor leaned over the fence and said, uh, what are you doing? And I said, oh, well, we're getting this chicory. And he says, what are you doing that for? And I said, well... It's a medicinal plant and we're doing this and that with it. And he says, oh, are there other medicinal plants here? And and I leaned over his fence and I says, well, there's one there and there and there and there. And we walked up his driveway and found 20 or 30 of them, you know, in, you know, 100 feet. So they're all over. And uh, it's just a question of, of uh, being able to know who they are and how to use them. And, and uh, growing them is, is a pretty simple affair for the most part. They're pretty hardy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Doc Jones. Yeah. This is Marjorie Wildcraft. We'll catch you on another one. Mm -hmm.